Prefectural University of Hiroshima with 100 years of history and traditions. In 2016, it launches Hiroshima Business and Management School, HBMS, and Chugoku region's first ever MBA program. Our MBA program is designed for professionals who are driven to advance their expertise and skills while carrying on with their careers. By nurturing a core knowledge base for business innovators and bringing out advanced management potential, we are producing the next generation leaders. We have many corporations from Hiroshima that are influential in Japan and globally. That's why we have incredibly strong human resources here. We possess world-class research. That's why I want to make HBMS a prestigious institution. In an era where the business world is dramatically changing, how to address the complex issues? How to resolve them? Along with Dean Yoshinori Yokoyama, professors with diverse experiences and achievements steer the way. People at the front line of business management, including professors at the top of their fields, as well as prominent guest speakers, share their expertise and insight. Students ranging in age from 20s to 50s are active in diverse professions. The curriculum is especially designed for people with careers. Classes are scheduled in the evenings and on Saturdays. Since intensive programs are organized on weekends during spring and summer breaks, it is possible to obtain an MBA by attending only Saturday courses. What HBMS is aiming for? Expand your vision, change the future. This motto expresses our philosophy. We believe our students will progress and expand. At the same time, it's essential that our university and MBA program continually expand and evolve. What does this mean? It means we will support students in firmly assessing their academic field. Then, we nurture an innovative approach to the way they research it. I think the key element to gaining an academic edge is by looking at the reality. And that's what fieldwork is all about. Keiko Noboru is carrying out fieldwork with her professor. Her research theme is using Rogaining, a long-distance outdoor sport event, to introduce regional attractions. The two visit Etajima, an island near Hiroshima, to meet Yoshio Tamayama, who runs a canoe club. They want to ask whether it would be possible to hold a Rogaining event here. Rich in nature, Tamayama would like as many people as possible to know about his beautiful island. So he is interested in hosting the event. Well, they are pleased with his response, they hear about a local issue. The island's pervasive problem of stranded plastic debris from oyster aquaculture. This is from the oyster farms. The debris doesn't go back to the ocean. Noboru's professor suggests she incorporate this issue in her Rogaining event. Hmm, how to take up this issue in our event? And oyster consumers really ought to know about this problem. Back at the university, they discuss how to apply this issue to Rogaining. For Noboru, it was problematic. After all, she wants to promote Etajima's beauty, not a negative aspect of the island. She seeks her professor's view. 
From now on, I think if you're serious about getting more people interested in a region's issues, even negative issues, I believe you have to also face its problems and concerns. Otherwise, you might send a misleading message to people. Once you hear this, it will change your perspective about eating oysters. It's critical to go out into the field, see the reality, and explore what you experienced with your professor and fellow students. It is a process of discovering what is happening in the real world, discovering what cannot be explained by conventional theories, systemization, or rationale. Identifying and isolating an issue and then tackling it. I believe that by experiencing these processes, students will hit on viable solutions. HBMS is affiliated with Stanford University in California and the University for Peace in Costa Rica. Through partnerships with other universities in Malaysia, Vietnam, and Thailand, we are promoting international exchange. We have established a cutting-edge research center for regional medical management and social system design for disaster prevention. And we are cultivating a broad range of versatile leaders by organizing lectures in diverse fields, including agribusiness management. Many HBMS graduates are active around Japan and the world from their regional base. Sake Sho Yamada was founded in 1931. Jinji Yamada, the fourth generation owner, is a second class alumnus. Due to his studies at HBMS, he says his firm now has annual sales of 1 billion yen. With the business strategy and plan he developed in class, he was able to launch a second sake shop. The Hacho Bori shop opened while he was in graduate school. His vision was a space in central Hiroshima that would appeal to female fans of sake. Then his first ever branch outside of his prefecture opened at Osaka's retail complex, Namba Edium. Yamada, who is eager to promote sake drinking culture abroad, is busy on a new project. In one of my courses, we researched creating business plans for the overseas market. And that got me interested in taking on such a challenge. I put together a plan for exporting a Japanese sake shop overseas. I developed it for my class. From now, I'd like to take on various challenges, such as this. At this hospital in the city of Hatsukaichi, Kaori Matsubara is taking care of human resources and PR affairs. She has launched a new program to tackle the issue of caregiver staff shortages. Inviting technical intern trainees from Vietnam. Matsubara visited the country on an inspection trip while studying at HBMS. An experience she cites as invaluable. We visited schools to see how the intern trainees study and prepare for coming to Japan. And I was able to ask about the current state of caregiving in Vietnam today. That formed a kind of base. Then the idea of accepting intern trainees became a discussion within our organization. Since I had actually been on the Vietnam inspection tour, I was able to apply my experience and know-how. I believe that's why the project of accepting trainees progressed so smoothly. The network created through interactions with professors and fellow students. Even today, Matsubara calls it an irreplaceable treasure. 
For example, take human resources. There could be an area of human resources or labor management that I am unfamiliar with. In this case, I can call on my graduate school classmate who is a labor attorney. Another example could be I'm going for a certain PR style, but don't know the best method to create it. So I might call a connection at an ad agency. This network has benefited me enormously. It's the number one thing that has kept me in this job. HBMS graduates, the leaders of our times. In 2018, we established the HBMS community, a new network for current students, graduates, and faculty. Expand your vision, change the future. The challenge continues. <laughs>